Hey guys, Omar here and look who's back. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about manual focus for maybe beginners, people that are trying to get away from auto modes all the time or maybe just auto focus all the time or you feel like you're only using the touch focus to focus. Now, first of all, why would you want to manually focus? Manual focus is great if you wanna pinpoint things that are very close, like a special part of a flower, or if you are focusing in a certain spot that you know, some, like a dog is gonna walk into that spot. It's great to pinpoint with uh, manual focus. Don't get me wrong, autofocus is great, but you should be able to switch between the two. When do I autofocus and when do I manually focus? Now, one thing to know about Fuji manual focus, it's actually not really manually focusing. It's a lie. The way Fuji camera's manual focus works is when you turn the focus wheel, it's actually going in and moving the motors, the autofocus motors to give you a sensation of manually focusing. Now, if you have some true manually focused lenses like this Rokinon 12 millimeter, you can actually, these are better to manually focus with. You actually turn them, they have nice manual focus power. And uh, once they hit infinity, for the most part, they stop. With the Fuji focus system, any lenses, the focus ring will go round and round and round and round for the most part. With that said, it's still like manually focused because you're pinpointing, but just know it's working with motors in there. Now, in this video, I'm gonna discuss why I keep it mostly set to M for most of the time that I shoot and maybe some options that are available in your camera. All right, so here are your manual focus options. Okay, let's start with the AFS. If you're on the S on the focus point, you actually have no manual focus options for you. You can push in this button right here and you can see what's in focus and you can actually half hold the shutter and get things in focus. Like, let's see if we get the whole, yeah, we got the Hulk back there. So we can, we can totally check our focus by zooming in. But if I try to manually twist my focus ring on my lens, it will not do anything, okay? So that's the first thing to know. If you're on AFS, you do not have any manual focus options, unless, unless you turn on AF plus MF. Go to AF, MF, AF plus MF equals off. <laughs> turn that on. Now what this means is you can actually autofocus and manually focus. So the way it works is, if you're going to autofocus, you're gonna half hold your shutter. So I can half hold there, I can half hold there, I can half hold there. You can also move your focus point if you want. Just hit down on the D-pad. You can move that, half hold. You can, oops, you can move this, half hold. And you can also touch focus, of course, is always available to you. Oop. Come on, Hulk. So touch focus is always available to you if you have the Fuji X-T20 or any other touch screen. However, now since I have in the corner here AF plus MF, you can actually autofocus by picking your focus point, half holding, but if you want to check focus, you can zoom in. And if you half hold the shutter, you can actually turn your focus wheel and engage the manual focus. So now you have autofocus plus mat. Whoa, I took a picture. So now you have autofocus if you half hold. And then if you keep half holding, you can actually manual manually focus as well. So that's a nice little option to have if you wanna engage a manual focus while you have autofocus. It's called AFMF on. Okay, now one thing to be aware of is there's something called depth of field preview on the Fujis. And that is not focusing. That's just showing you what is going to be in focus. So let me show you that, for example. Notice the Hulk in the background is totally blurry. That's because we're at an aperture of 4.5. If we raise our aperture, if I half hold the shutter, nothing happens. Okay, look at the Hulk back there. It kind of just moves a little bit. But if I turn my aperture ring to F16, F18, that's a good one. If I half hold the shutter now, notice he comes back into focus. Now, don't think it's focusing on Hulk. What it's actually doing is it's just giving you a depth of field preview. It's telling you, hey, if you take this picture, Hulk is going to come out in focus, more in focus in the background. If I go to a smaller aperture, like f4 on this lens, this is the 18 to 55. If I half hold, the Hulk will be blurry in the background. Okay, so sometimes you see your background come into focus a little bit when you half hold. That's just your depth of field preview working. 
Now, I prefer not to use this AFMF. If you feel that that's comfortable for you, totally fine, do it. The way I like to work is actually live on, boom, MF all the time. Now, one of the reasons I like to be in manual focus all the time is I like to use the focus peaking options. So if you push the little wheel in there, you're going to get a couple of uh, choices. Once it'll say digital split. Next, it'll say focus peak highlight. And if you push it again, it'll say standard. Standard just means if I push in and I look really close, I'm just going to be able to see it go out of focus and come back into focus. This is great for like flower photography or any kind of macro you're doing to really pinpoint focus. However, a lot of photographers like focus peaking just to get a little sense of where the focus points are. So let me put that on, focus peaking. And you can actually pick different colors for focus peaking. If you go to uh, autofocus here and you go, whoa, wrong one. If you go to autofocus and say, um, go down to MFO, MF, oh, I can't talk, MF assist peak. If you go to the color, you can actually change the colors, but red high is the one that's most obvious. Now I'm on the M setting, and what I'm going to do is try to use the shutter, and it's not working because we're on manual focus. So if you ever find on your camera, you're like, my camera's not focusing, that's because you're in manual focus. What's great though, and why I say there's a case for being in manual focus all the time, is you still have the touch screen available. The touch screen is your, come on, there it is. The touch screen is available to you all the time. So even though you're in manual focus, you also have autofocus available just by touching. Now touch again can be annoying because your focus point stays somewhere weird. So let's say you're looking at a scene and you focus on something and you take a picture and you start walking around and then you see something that's over here, you always have to move your focus point around. So sometimes that's a little bit of, of an annoyance. So if you're exclusively using the touch screen, that's cool. You're always just moving it around fine. But a lot of us like to use a center focus point and some people like to move the focus point around, um, you know, physically around, that's another option. So think about that too, that your focus point, if you use touch, is sometimes in strange places, especially if you're carrying your camera, it always ends up being somewhere weird. What's great is with focus peaking, you get a nice little red overlay. You can see, where are we here? You can see the focus point at her cape and her logo, <laughs> logo. And then if you see the Hulk, or is he back there? If you see the Hulk, he's kind of like glowing red there. You can see his hair. So it gives you a little preview of where you are. You can take the picture there. Now, if you want to check your focus on MF, you can actually push in and you can see that there. Uh, you may need to move your focus point around. Now, the D-pad doesn't move the focus, focus point around, which is a little strange. I feel like it used to, I don't know. Guys, tell me in the comments if the D-pad used to move this around. Now it seems like it's only touch moving. But anyway, we got the Hulk there and I can manually, I can pinpoint my focus now by checking in. Now the last case for leaving it on manual focus forever is, yo, I lost my half hold focus. However, you can always use a different button for focus. So although it's in manual focus and I can manually focus all the time, if I just push my secondary button, it will focus quickly. So one other option, by default it's this one by the way, AFL. I just make mine AEL because it's more comfortable for my thumb. But the case is with manual focus, you totally see your distances, you have focus peaking available to you, and you also have a button that you can use for quick autofocus. And of course you always have the touch available unless you turn it off. If you're kind of annoyed by the touch little you know, this little focus point moving around, you can always turn it off. Okay, so a case for leaving it on the M. You have focus peaking available to you. You have your little distance meter available all the time. You don't have to half hold the shutter while you use the AFMF option. So it's kind of good to keep it on manual focus all the time. Now, it is uncomfortable for some people to start using a different button for autofocus. If you don't like that, then forget it. You'll have to leave it on M, and if you want quick autofocus, you'll have to use the touch screen. And then when you want to use the button, you'll have to flip right back to S, and when you don't want to use the button, you'll have to flip to M.
Anyway, whatever works for you, it's all about you. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time.